Welcome guys to the tutorial of CVE 2020-5902. To start off this hunt, we're going to ask Shodan to grab all the devices that are known for big IP. Come over here to Shodan.io. And if you're not familiar with what Shodan is, you know how Google indexes every website that is connected to the internet. Well, Shodan indexes every device that is connected to the internet. And we wanna look for big IP devices. So because I can't afford $359 a month for a vulnerability search filter, we'll have to search for this vulnerability manually. And to do that, we'll come over here to search and we're gonna search by this HTTP title, big IP redirect. Now, if you want to search for a specific organization, you'll type in org followed by the colon, and then inside the parentheses, you'll put in your organization's name that you're hunting for. So once you have the devices that you're hunting for, you'll just come over here to download results and you'll download all the results. As you can see, I don't have any credits left available. One query credit lets you download up to hundred results. So we'll take the largest that I have, which is 8,000 and we'll click download. And what that does is it downloads it into a zip file for you. So we'll come over here to the zip file and it'll give you some random name .json. And what we want to do is rename this to Shodan. And then we'll extract it to our computer. And as you can see here, I have the Shodan file right here. So if I open this, you'll see that it gives us a bunch of data. And inside this is IP addresses. And we want to extract only the IP addresses out of here. And then we want to go ahead and resolve those IP addresses. And then from resolving the IP addresses, we want to send that over to Nuclei for scanning. And that's what this bash script does right here is it'll take your JSON file that you named shodan.json and it will extract the IP addresses called shodan.txt. And then it will go ahead and resolve those IP addresses that you see here into a new file called http-ips. And then from here, it's going to send it over to Nuclei for scanning. So while this script is finishing up, let's go ahead and talk about what's inside it. So again, as we talked about earlier, it is catting the shodan.json file here, and then it's grepping out the IP addresses, and then it's saving it to a file called shodan.txt. And then from there, we're taking a list of IP addresses and we're probing them for working HTTP and HTTPS servers. And then that's saving it to a file called http-ips.txt. And then it's taking that text file, sending it over to Nuclei for scanning. So it's grabbing it from my desktop and then we're scanning against Nuclei's template, CVE 2020-5902. And then it will output it into the terminal for us. You'll need to change this directory to whatever yours is. So yours isn't going to be secret. It'll probably be something else. And then you'll have to change the location of possibly to where your nuclei templates are. So line 46 will need to be changed to wherever the files are located on your Kali machine. So here we go. Nuclei is now getting kicked off to scan for vulnerable devices. Binga. And here we go. Vulnerable devices in big IP firewalls. And that's it, guys. As soon as you download your search results off of Shodan, just rename whatever that file is to shodan.json. Run this script just by typing it in and it will parse through that JSON file, output the IP addresses, send it for probing, and then send it to Nuclei for scanning. No smoke, no mirrors, that's exactly how it works. And if you're wondering, are people still reporting this for a bounty? This was just reported on two months ago. So this vulnerability is still out there.
I wouldn't give up on any vulnerabilities as companies put devices online, take them offline, forget to do patches. I would keep a search like this in your back pocket just in case you come across a device. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys out there on the hunt. Thank you.